नमस्कार गुड मॉर्निंग राम राम टुडे वी आर हेयर विद वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट वीडियो we are going to tell you some important days of 2023 in which you can become a millionaire yes a few days which can be a miraculous for you why and how this is a question and answers for all these questions are with only akash ji who who is all set with his research on this video let's welcome akash ji from calgary canada akash ji namaskar ram ram namaskar ram ram <coughs> Rohit ji, today's video is about Swati Nakshatra, and it's kind of a gift from us to all the members of the channel. This is the Nakshatra of Wealth. Now, how Rohit ji, and what is the way how we can activate Swati Nakshatra is very uh, important. So, first, let's understand <coughs> what is the video all about. So, the, this video is about the rainwater that falls during the Nakshatra of Swati. So, whenever Moon is in the Nakshatra of Swati. <coughs> and if it rains and you know around the world it is almost rainy season um today also in calgary it rained in india it is raining everywhere it is raining but if not so there can be other uh, parts or other times when there should there would be rain so there are total number of 6 days in 2023 left where moon will be into swati nakshatra and you can collect uh, that water and do this remedy okay rohit ji <clears throat> moving forward now we have to first understand the story behind this so rohit ji there was a king and a very good kingdom and they were into a lot of trouble because they had severe drought and right now you know we uh, wealth and prosperity for us is money only and money but in earlier times wealth and prosperity was crops agriculture if the agriculture stopped everything stopped now because of such problem <clears throat> the king was in lot of stress that uh, you know his kingdom would be destroyed and you know there is there are no resources at all so he called all the learned astrologers of his kingdom and he told you know and all the sadhu and he told that you know what do we do like how do we do um, something some kind of remedy so that you know we can have uh, rainfall and, and the wealth and the abundance and you know Uh, prosperity is restored in our kingdom so the sages and the astrologers uh, informed him that presence of rahu in swati nakshatra <clears throat> was causing an imbalance okay so so it started with rahu being in swati nakshatra and causing an imbalance so you know determined that no will let anything happen but we have to restore the prosperity of this kingdom to so the king did a very grand yagna yagya means a ritual sacrifice dedicated to appeasing rahu and seeking his blessings of swati nakshatra you know as uh, the uh, how and the ritual was going on because of king's devotion and his pure intentions rahu you know he got intrigued by his devotion and appeared before him the king humbly pleaded for rainfall and prosperity to return to the king rahu impressed by the king's sincerity agreed to help him but laid down a condition <clears throat> now this is how the planets have the power to actually you know manipulate their own thing so it is the nakshatra of uh, rahu because rahu is a malefic planet it you know it was giving bad results in swati nakshatra but because <clears throat> he told and we will tell what rahu explained that swati nakshatra has the power to control rainfall and wealth but it needed to be activated properly especially when moon transits through the nakshatra so this secret of rahu was given by <clears throat> by rahu to the king that whenever moon will transit that is the time you know you will uh, gain abundance from this nakshatra and the king had to perform regular rituals to make offerings to swati nakshatra to maintain balance and ensures abundant rainfall and prosperity understanding the importance of this task the king readily accepted his condition he vowed to perform the rituals and offerings to swati nakshatra so in a way rohit ji that king who this story is and i was trying to find his name but couldn't maybe they have kept it secret if by his uh, what you say his sacrifice today you know there is so much blessing that whenever swati nakshatra uh, you know whenever rahu is in swati nakshatra or whenever rahu uh, whenever moon is in swati nakshatra the 
and it rains if it rains during that time that rain water has the ability to attract more wealth prosperity and happiness so this is the exact uh, meaning of this uh, you know of this instance which happened and rahu gave the secret that when i am in swati nakshatra no 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 don't expect anything good but whenever moon will go into swati nakshatra that is the time the combination will become when you can attain wealth so that means today you are going to tell us that days of 2023 and time of course yes. in which if we collect that rain water and we kept it as per remedy then it can create abundance wealth in our life yes yes wow. yes right. very simple remedy right very, very simple, simple remedy but yes the timing is very important so now here rohit ji uh, now another fact about swati nakshatra is that you know there was a uh, why swati is supposed to be very auspicious nakshatra so there is this story goes on planets arguing and most auspicious nakshatra everyone was saying ma is most auspicious this and that and we know shani dev shani dev is the most <clears throat> unbiased person he will go with the truth he told shani dev that rahu swati nakshatra is the best nakshatra ever and on question and sun because you know when sun said why not kritika nakshatra why then he questioned saturn that why rahu's nakshatra saturn related to the story of chatak bird you know this is a bird chatak bird it is uh, some called something like robin hood cuckoo something in uh, uh, in english language this is the bird which does not drink <clears throat> any water except the water which comes in swati nakshatra nothing it will wait i researched a lot it will wait it will die of thirst but only and only whenever it is swati nakshatra rain that is the time it it drinks the water in abundance and it is also said that if we by chance get a feather of chatak bird and we keep it our place or we keep it dipped into the water of uh, swati nakshatra that person becomes like there is wealth there, there is extreme wealth and wealth wealth health prosperity in their life <clears throat> now swati nakshatra is one of the 27th nakshatras which you have lunar mentioned it is in libra libra from 6 degrees 40 minutes to 20 degrees in libra okay libra swati nakshatra is governed by rahu which is a significator of wealth ambition and desires okay now but you know sometimes <clears throat> you know we go to the uh, we go to the river so we do not get only water from there right we get minerals we get fishes we get so many other things from the river same way if it is rahu's nakshatra rahu is not only responsible here to give you good results it is when moon also activates here when moon comes in the nakshatra you get good results now another thing that why rahu gives money here is because this nakshatra is governed by vayu that is air god vayu god right pavan and also called pavan putra hanuman ji yes his father pavan uh he is the one who is uh, supposed to be ruling this nakshatra now <clears throat> as for rain water and wealth in vedic astrology rain water is associated with abundance and prosperity that is why as soon as water falls on earth the seed germinates and we can have a plant that that plant can be a cash crop or can be poisonous plant but water has the ability to give us abundance something in abundance therefore rain water can symbolize the flow of wealth and abundance in one's life in context of swati nakshatra the influence of rahu and the association with wind and the movement indicate the potential for financial gains and opportunities water collected in swati nakshatra has the ability to adopt adapt to changing circumstances and take advantage of new opportunities leading to financial growth and prosperity so overall the bottom line is that it is a very auspicious nakshatra the rain water collected during this period comes directly from the clouds and you know from the sky and from that celestial you know formation of you know um, like it it is completely god's will it comes it comes from the universe basically and it is very important to collect the water now what are the days in 2023 when we should do this remedy or when it is the time for you to do this remedy so that's why there are six days which we have identified so number one is june 
this is two days to one days or two days from now from 60 uh, okay so remember another thing which i wanted to say everything here what you are seeing is according to new delhi india and according to the ist time zone indian standard time zone now there is a website called drikpanchang.com you have to go on drikpanchang.com and if you see the uh, if you see the photo here on the right you can see that there is a location tab where it is delhi india and i have chosen 28th of 6 2023 so you have to write your location for example you are in norway you are in russia you are in america wherever the city you just write the city so here on the left you will see nakshatra so first is sunrise and moonrise and then below that is panchang and where you will see in the right side nakshatra it is in chitra up to 1601 and then swati starts from 1601 on june 28 and goes till 1630 june 29 so you have one complete day to take the advantage of rain during this period if it falls you have to take it take collect that water how what ritual we need to do i will explain later now again on july um, sorry uh, on july 26th roji again 3 am uh, 12 a.m. to 1.10 a.m. July 27, again 24 hours here. August 22, again we have a timing. September 18, again we have timing. October 15, again we have timing. November 12, again we have timing. And December 9, we have timing. So just if it is possible, take the screenshot and keep it printed on your, on your uh, uh, what you say, uh, fridge. This is the best way to remember because we open it at least once a day. So you will see that, yes, this is the day when I need to collect rainwater if it happens during this period. Okay. So these are the six days which we need to focus on and remember. Now, procedure. Procedure is very simple. Collect rainwater when moon is in Swati Nakshatra. And what is the Niryana system? It is the Panchang system where you go and see what is what is the time and when, what is the time when moon enters into Swati Nakshatra. Uh, don't make sure that whenever as the moon enters into Swati Nakshatra, completely it has entered. After that, only collect the water. Before that, if you collect, there is no use of that water. And then store it in a bottle. Keep the bottle in the locker or place where you keep the money. Now, another remedy which I want to give you, Rohitji, everyone, is that, you know, this is the purpose of this locker. Right, you know, in every movie, everywhere we see they have these safes in banks, they have we have this safe where we keep money. So, this safe is supposed to be having or collecting that energy that it will attract a lot of wealth. That is why those people who do not have a safe should get a safe or should get this locker for their home. At least you keep like 10 rupees in it or 10 dollars in it, but you need a safe. You need to collect, you need to get a safe and you need to have it installed in the southwest direction of your house, wherever southwest is. So just very, make sure. Uh, very beautiful thing told by Akashji. One question and then one I will uh, think I will tell you. Yeah. That if uh, somebody have a small bottle, because locker is not very big, he can collect a little water also. He can collect Even water. 10 drops or two, one drop is also good. But at least we need a little bit of more water, like 20, 30, 40 ml, so that it does not evaporate. Okay. Now, okay. second but thing. A better way is thing. to collect it in a bucket and make sure you make a, multiple bottles out of it and keep it and name it Swati Nakshatra Rain. Okay, and I will also request all people to share this video with your all relatives. Maybe you don't have rain here, but your relative living in Kerala or some Mumbai or any other place, they have a rain, so they can collect and you can get them whenever you go or they come. So this exactly. is also that's why I told you, Roji, that multiple bottles and collect these when and you can always give it as gifts to your family oh. members. You know, like you know when you're going, you say you know this is a very auspicious holy water, rain water. And uh, we keep it in locker according to our Hindu mythology. So please keep it. So it can be also present as gifts because you know. Uh, remember one thing, everyone. Whatever we get in our uh, life is according to our destiny. Okay. Hmm. You cannot get more than your destiny. You cannot get less than your destiny. It is it's absolutely whatever your destiny allows. But hmm. if you actually think about other people if you actually want to really help other people your destiny changes you get more than what your destiny is allowed to give it to you because then 
God acts himself. Destiny does not have any power on us. Then God comes and tells, no man, this person is doing something, going out of the way. I want to give him more. So Rajiv, yes. this is a small gift. And small, uh, we nicely said that we need to keep the money in the locker or the you know some auspicious place at home. You know, in TV, in TV, we see the lots of corrupt people who earn money and put under the bed and all that places and raid happened and the, all that money go because bed is twelfth house. You already put your money in twelfth house; it will definitely go to loss and it losses. So, a uh, beautiful thing you explained that locker small lockers. Small lockers or those who cannot have lockers, they should have some containers. Okay, where so we have can... a space which we have a you know Almira at home. They have a separate locker in that Almira. That yeah, is also yeah, everyone everywhere locker is a very important thing. Any bank we go, why do not they keep money in open or they do not have any other device? Only the locker. So mm. locker is very important. If you have a locker, wealth will come to you because it is supposed to be the resource. It actually yeah. saves your It is supposed to be a remedy. It is supposed to be the place where the place the emptiness has to be filled by wealth. The emptiness of the locker has to be filled by wealth. The more big locker you get, the more wealth will come to you. Mm. I will Akash like to tell all people here that Akashji, please don't tell our remedies because Akashji have a very uh, good video and is researching on that. That how you need to keep your money in your house, in what way. All these remedies we will tell you in some another video because uh, we will not explain here because that is a secret. And now we will reveal in another video. Thank you, Akashji. Thank Very you. beautiful story. And uh, today I'm looking outside. Uh, it's raining and I was also searching on Google up to 28th. It's raining. <laughs> so I hope on 28th I able to collect. And I will collect in two bottles. One for you also. Thank Whenever you. you will come, I will collect in two bottles. So thank, thank you. you very much for this beautiful video. Thank you. And uh, those who want uh, to connect with Akashji personally, they can just drop details on the WhatsApp or the mail ID. And team will contact you and you will have a personal consultation, one-on-one -on -one video consultation with Akashji. And those who are new to this channel, please subscribe. And share this video for your near and dear because it is very important that you think good for everyone. So share this video so they can also collect this water and do this remedy. Thank you. We'll meet you in some another video. Thank you, Akashji. Till then, Jai Shri Ram. Jai Mandi.